How's it going everybody? Martin Belvoir Auto Spa. If you're a new viewer, uh, please hit that subscribe button. You'll see this video and many more like it and uh, hopefully enjoy all of them. Anyways, uh, today's video is going to be about Ethos Ceramic Shampoo. Now, we've tested in the past. Let me go ahead and grab one. Tested uh, Ethos Cleanse. I'm going to grab the other products as well. All right, so yeah, Ethos Cleanse, Adam's Graphene Shampoo, and Jay Leno's uh, Ceramic Wash Shampoo. We've also used Adam's Wash and Wax and Adam's Wash and Coat. Uh, I believe I gave those to a friend. Um, all these products claim to leave some sort of coating behind. In my testing, none of them have. So uh, with Ethos Ceramic Shampoo, I'm not even going to uh, test that aspect. We're just going to see how it is as a wash shampoo because while none of them worked, uh, the, the, the coating aspect and Ethos says 12 to 24 hours, it, it, no, it doesn't work. Trust me. <laughs> I've, I've tested it before. It doesn't work. Uh, Jay Leno, somebody said it, it again, 12 to 24 hours. Adam says 24 hours later. Adam's have actually tested. I've got a video on that. It doesn't, but they're all very good wash shampoos. So I will, I will say that, especially Adam's Graphene. I really like that one a lot. So we're gonna test uh, Ethos Ceramic Shampoo. We're gonna see how it is in a uh, foam cannon. Now they claim, you know, mainly this is for ceramic coated vehicles, just like the cleanses for graphene coated vehicles. It does say wash and protect in one step, but then they also say in the back here, uh, water beating effect does not appear instantaneously upon first use. So if somebody can prove me wrong, feel free i would i would love to learn more but so far i haven't been able to have any good results but if you want to read this uh there's that so this is supposed to clean and reinvigorate ceramic coatings and uh yeah, add ceramic protection with every wash so i'm gonna use it on my ceramic coated car it's been coated with uh car pro c quartz uk and sic so it's got two layers on there so it says two to three ounces in a wash bucket um, or three to four ounces in a foam cannon. I'm just gonna do a foam cannon, I'm not doing a wash bucket this time. Um, wash bucket's pretty straightforward. So let's get some of this added in the foam cannon and see what's going on. All right, so I want you to say again, uh, three to four ounces. So we got about half a foam cannon, so we'll add about two, two ounces. Let's see how it does. Now, smell-wise, let me just give this a smell real quick. Smells like, uh, smells like you'd expect it to, like kind of like lime, kiwi-ish, that type of, you know, green, green fruit scent, apple maybe, I don't know. I'm bad with scents, so. That should be enough. That might even be too much, but whatever. Uh, I don't remember how much this cost me. I'll have a link below. Sorry, I didn't write it down. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and crank this up to max foam. And then see how it looks. All right, let's get over to the car. All right, so we got the car here. The car is covered in sticky aphid sap crap. Honeydew, I guess they call it, so that's why I'm washing it here. Um, but let's see how this does. Foam wise, not bad. It smells really good. Um, actually, now it smells like honeydew. Now that I think about it, uh, foam quality is pretty good. Very slick feeling. So definitely gonna do a good job washing the car. Uh, let me get it finished. Let me get finished uh, foaming it down, and then I'll come back. See how it rinses off. All right. So the foam consistency is pretty good. It's not the thickest foam in the world. It doesn't have to be. Uh, but it's not running either. As you can see, it clings pretty well to the panel, so it gives you some good dwell time, which is uh, that is good as well. So um, we're gonna see how it rinses off now. Since this is not an explicit pre-wash soap, I expect that it'll uh, rinse freely. Um, soaps that cling, I like when they cling. If it's a pre-wash, like exclusively a pre-wash, meant to be that. This is just meant to be a general cleaning soap, so this should rinse free. Um, but let's see how it does.
All right, so yeah, it rinses, uh, it rinses free pretty easily, so that's good. Um, overall, good foam cannon and wash soap. Um, we got no complaints about it, just don't expect it to uh, create beading. It'll probably revive beading on a ceramic coating that's looking a little bit tired. This ceramic coating's I've had for about a year, but it's still doing really good because I keep it parked in the garage most of the time. But <clears throat> anyways, um, yeah, overall good soap. Let's go in for final thoughts. All right, so Ethos uh, Ceramic Shampoo. Uh, good car shampoo? Yes, these are all pretty good car shampoos. Uh, wash and coat? Mm, uh, I'm going to say no. Um, you want a wash and coat product that foams? Car Pro Hydro 2, these are just ones I've tested personally. Car Pro Hydro 2, uh, Griot's Garage Ceramic Wash and Coat, because th those will both immediately bring beading to your panel, even when there is nothing on there. Um, and some other good ones that don't necessarily foam well is uh, Meguiar's hybrid ceramic wash and wax and um, turtle wax hybrid solutions ceramic wash and wax there's probably some others oh yeah armor all is one armor all is super cheap too it does it but um if you want just a good quality wash shampoo this is definitely a good choice these are all good choices um again just not washing coats and i'm, I'm pretty sure i'm like 90 percent sure all these products are made by the same blender bnb blending i know adams is um because adams and bnb are the owned by the same parent company um uh, jay leno's and ethos probably use the same blender as well i mean look the too many similarities between the bottles the formulas and how this is like got this like shine in it um they didn't put the shine in this one but if this was the graphene one this doesn't have a shine in it either i mean there's not much left in there we can see some um, but their ceramic ones do have a little bit of that shine but anyways that's all i got for this video hope you all enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up leave your thoughts below i'll see you all in the next video keep them clean have a good one